Hello friends, thanks for joining us. Find a nice comfortable seat on your mat and we'll get started. Take a moment, settle in. Find a position where you feel you can stay for a few moments. When you're ready, you can close your eyes, rest your hands on your knees or in your lap, and allow the spine to be long and straight. Just becoming aware of the breath. Allow it to settle in. Feeling the weight of the day slip away. Keeping that spine long and straight. Let the breath be nice and steady. Just a moment, we'll start our practice. Bring your hands to prayer. Namaste. Go ahead and roll forward. We'll meet in tabletop position. You're gonna stack your hands and knees. Find a nice neutral spine. And when you're ready, start to inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, gently round. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round. A few more at your own pace, using the breath, follow along. Two more here if that feels okay. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. We'll find a nice neutral spine. Extending the left leg behind us, tuck the toes, press the heel towards the back of the mat. Nice long line of energy from the back of the heel to the crown of the head. When you're ready, we're gonna slide that heel up and cross it over the body. Take a look over your right shoulder, find a nice half moon shape and breathe. When you're ready, we'll release, come back to the previous pose and bend the knee and lift the foot towards the sky. A few little pulses here, just pressing the sole of the foot towards the sky. Not a big pulse, nice and easy. Use the sit bone muscles to help you along. Good. Now curtsy that leg over. You're gonna tap down behind the left knee. Lift the hip and extend the foot out. Nice little round kick there. Yep, go ahead, tuck it behind you. Extend the knee, press the foot away from the body. Good. Tap down, lift the hip, extend the foot. Just a few more at your own pace. You don't have to lift it up as high. See what feels good for you. Just opening up the hips. See if you got another one in you here. Good, and extend, release. Come back to that neutral spine. Take a moment, we'll find a nice, easy child's pose. Pressing the sit bones back on the heels, extend the arms out in front. Option to bring the hands to prayer, bend the elbows and lower the thumbs to the top of the back. You can walk those elbows a little bit further away from the body and feel a deeper stretch to the underside of the arms. Take another breath here. In a moment, we'll return to that tabletop position. Gently release the hands if they're pressing into the back. Roll yourself back up into all fours. Tabletop position will return to the other side. Right leg extends behind you. Press the heel back. And another breath, slide the heel up. Good. You're gonna cross it over the left leg. Take a look over that left shoulder, see if you can find the foot. Breathe. We'll return to that previous pose. Go ahead and tuck the leg behind you. Then bend the knee, press the foot towards the sky. Tiny little pulses, lifting from the seat. You just wanna press those clouds right out of the sky. When you're ready, we'll extend the leg back, cross the knee over, lift the hip, and press the foot away from the body. A nice little curtsy drop here. Lift the knee, extend the leg, good. Four more. Take it across, extend, find control as you move that leg away from the body, pressing the shin forward or the top of the foot. Beautiful. Returning to that tabletop position, widen the knees, bring the big toes to touch. Take a wide-legged child's pose. The arms are long and straight in front of you. Make any adjustments you need. Feel free to tent the fingers and shimmy out the shoulders. Get a nice stretch here. You can gently release the hands back to the ground. Take another breath. Begin to roll forward. Stay on top of the knees. Press into the hands, draw the back of the heart forward, what looks like a upward facing dog. Keeping the legs bent behind you, feet pointing up in the air. 
Take another gentle breath here. When you're ready, bend the elbows, lower the heart to the ground, let the forehead touch the floor. We're gonna press back into that wide-legged child's pose. Take a moment, settle the sit bones on the heels. And then like a wave, roll forward one more time. Drop the hips, back of the head, reaching towards the feet. Bend the elbows, lower down to the ground. Forehead to touch the earth. Then press back into that wide-legged child's pose. Go ahead, roll forward. Bend the elbows, release the body to the floor. Keep the elbows hugging the side body, press up. And sit back on the heels. Good. Inhale, roll forward, roll on top of the knees, upper facing dog, lower the body to the ground. Inhale, press up and gently sit back. We'll do one more here at your own pace. Inhale, roll forward, lower to the earth. Keep the forehead resting on the mat. Go ahead and slide the hands back behind you, grab hold of the tops of the feet. We're going to take a nice little bow pose, kicking the hands into the feet, lift the thighs and the heart off the ground. Press the feet into the hands, lift, lift, lift. Relax the muscles of the face. Good. Gently release. Release the tops of the feet, bring the hands under the shoulders. And now press back one more time, wide-legged child's pose. Good. Walking the hands over to the right side. Take a nice lateral stretch. Breathe into the side body. When you're ready, come back through the center. Reset. And then gently walk the hands over to the opposite side. Folding over the legs. Let the arms be long, body heavy. Good. When you're ready, Start to walk your hands back through the center. Take another resting breath here. Then roll forward, tuck the toes, draw the hips back, downward facing dog. Ground through the thumb and forefinger, bend the left knee, pull it into the body, stay. Then straighten it out, bend the opposite knee, stay. Good, come back through the downward facing dog, walk the hands back towards the feet, fold over the legs. Inhale, roll yourself up. Take a moment, readjust. Inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead. Interlace the hands. We're going to fold over to the right side. Nice lateral stretch, half moon. Back to the center. Inhale, exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, reach up, half moon shape over to the left. When you're ready, we'll come back to the center. Release the arms. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, fold over the legs. Take your time here. Walk yourself back to a plank position. Tuck the toes, engage all the muscles of the abdomen. Bend the elbows, lower the body completely to the earth. Let the forehead rest, elbows hugging the side body. Press into the hands, find a baby cobra. Rolling the body back to the earth, forehead to touch the mat. Good. Bend the knees, draw the heels towards the seat. Go ahead and reach back, grab hold of the tops of the feet once again. Inhale, pressing the feet into the hands, lift the thighs, lift the heart. Good, gently release. Releasing the tops of the feet, hands come back underneath the shoulders. Pressing yourself back into that downward facing dog. Good. Pedal out the heels if you need. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Point the toes. Bend the knee. Open the hips. Feel a nice, good stretch. Back to the three-legged dog. Pull the right knee under the body to the left elbow. Tap. Three-legged dog. Move through the center line of the body, hugging the thigh into the chest. Back to the three-legged dog. Let it come to the outer right elbow, hover, press back, three-legged dog. Now gently step that right foot through the hands, release the back knee down, find equestrian pose, your nice low lunge. Releasing the top of the foot, you can lift the torso, press into the top of the right thigh, option to stay here. If it feels okay, we're going to go ahead and reach that right, the left hand back rather, 
Grab hold of the shin, the ankle, the heel, and extend the right arm up and back, finding that gentle twist. Another breath. Coming back to the previous pose, allow the hands to frame the foot. We'll straighten out that front leg into a runner's lunge. Soft bend in the elbows. Let the forehead reach towards the shin. Option to press into the heel, draw the toes towards the body, deeper stretch in the hamstrings, walking the hands back. Again, you have the option to stay here. We're gonna take another tiny little twist, straightening out the arms, press into the left hand, inhale, lift the right arm towards the sky. Legs stay as they are. Gently release the right arm to frame the foot. Rebend that front knee. Step back to a tall plank. Lowering the body to the floor, bending the elbows, slide through the arms. One more time, cobra or baby cobra, press into the hands, draw the back of the heart, forward and up. Release the forehead to the mat. Another bow or a cobra if you prefer. Grab hold of the tops of the feet. Inhale, kicking the feet into the hands. Lift the heart, lift the thighs. Gently release, placing the hands under the shoulder, extend the legs down the mat. Coming back into that downward facing dog, press the hips back, do whatever you need to do here. We're gonna switch to the other side, so lift the left leg up behind you, point the toes. When you're ready, you're gonna bend that knee, open the hips. And we'll return to that three-legged dog, so go ahead and lift that foot all the way up. Rolling into that tall plank, bring the left knee to tap the right elbow. Back to the three-legged dog. Come through the center line of the body, hug it close to the chest, three-legged dog. Now bring that left knee to tap the left elbow, hover, and extend, three-legged dog. With control, we'll step that left foot through the hands, equestrian pose, opposite side. Press into the fingers, shoulders down the back, Collarbone smiling. Option to press the hand into the thigh, lift the torso and arms, release the top of the back foot. If you took a twist on the opposite side, go ahead and take one here. Reach the right hand back, grab hold of whatever you can. Left arm extends up and back, reaching across the back of the mat. Beautiful. Return to the previous pose, fingertips to frame the foot. Go ahead, tuck the toes on the back leg, straighten out the front, runner's lunge. Option to fold over the leg if that feels okay. You can stay here or take a deeper stretch, press into the heel, dial the toes towards the chest, walking the hands back, again, folding over the leg. We're gonna find that spinal twist again in a moment. You're gonna lengthen through the arms. Press into the right hand, extend the left fingers towards the sky. Shoulders relax on both sides. Good. Gently release, hands to frame the foot. Find that nice low lunge, bending that front knee. Hands to frame the foot, step back to a tall plank. Once again, start to bend the elbows, lower the body all the way to the ground. Press into the hands, find another cobra pose, shoulders down the back, heart reaching up. Once again, rolling yourself down, let the forehead touch the mat. Another bow, reach back, grab hold of the tops of the feet, reset. Inhale, kick the feet into the hands. Press, 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 lift up tall. Gently release, good. Release the feet, hands under the shoulders. Take a moment here. Press back, downward facing dog. Good. Pedal out the heels if you need. Right leg lifts up behind you, point the toes. Gently step the right foot through the hands. We're gonna prepare for warrior two. So the back heel pivots down. Go ahead and open those arms wide. Hips and shoulders facing the long edge of the mat. Readjust the arms however you need. Take a moment. Bending that front knee over the ankle. Nice strong arms, make sure you're breathing. Let's reverse that warrior. Back hand touches the leg. Reach the right arm up and back. Good. 
Return to the warrior two arms. Now let's move into extended side angle, dropping the hands to the floor in line with the foot, or you can rest the forearm on the thigh, extending the left arm over the top of the mat. When you're ready, press into the feet, return to warrior two. Let's repeat that. Reverse the warrior. Good. Warrior two arms, side angle, option to extend, hand sweeps across the top of the mat. Let's repeat this one more time, press into the feet, return to the warrior two, reverse that warrior, good. Warrior two arms, extended side angle, breathe. Next, send the left fingers up towards the sky. Gently release them to the floor. Let's step into a side plank. So sweep that right leg on top of the left. It might be a little bit tricky. Go ahead. You can modify this however you need by dropping that lower leg knee. Take another gentle breath. Let's return to a tall plank. Go ahead and bend the elbows. Lower the body to the ground. Find that cobra once again, pressing the hands. Release the forehead to touch the mat. Bend the knees, slide the hands back, another beautiful bow. As you inhale, kick the feet into the hand, lift, lift, lift. And now exhale, gently release. Bring the hands under the shoulders, feet together, press back, downward facing dog. Now bring the left leg up behind you, point the toes. Good, stepping the left foot forward, prepare for warrior two, pivot the right heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the arms wide open, find that nice T-shape, let those shoulders relax, draw the navel in towards the spine. Feels okay, you can bend that left knee a little bit more, get a little bit lower into that warrior two. Good. Feet of the foundation, press into the feet and reverse the warrior. Back hand reaches back, grabs hold of the thigh, front arms reaching up and back. You turn to warrior two, moving into side angle. Any variation you need, I'm going for the extended side angle. As you press into the feet, we're gonna to return to the warrior two. Strong arms, reverse the warrior, reach up and back. Warrior two, extended side angle, or wherever you need to be. And warrior two, one more time. We like things in threes, reverse that warrior. Warrior arms, extended side angle pose, good. We're gonna move into that side plank in just a moment, extend the right arm up, cartwheel the arm down to the ground, and bring the legs together. Nice side plank, keep lifting the hips, feel strength throughout the whole body. Good, come back into a nice tall plank. Lower to the knees, press the sit bones back, rest in child's pose. Take another breath. You can always return to child's pose. Go ahead, roll yourself up, sitting on the heels, hero's pose. Shift the weight to one side, extend the legs out in front and readjust yourself on your mat. Coming into staff pose, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take a nice little forward fold here, reaching the arms up. Shoulders relax as you exhale, start to shift the weight forward, lowering the heart over the legs. Let the arms settle where they will. You can always bend the knees here if this is too intense for the backs of the legs. Complete surrender. Hands to frame the legs or the feet. Take another gentle breath. Each exhale, you feel a little more comfortable. Extend those arms forward, reach up nice and tall, and then circle the arms down. Good, take another breath here. 
When you're ready, bend that right knee, place the foot on the ground, interlace the hands around the shin, and lengthen the spine. You have the option to stay here for a moment. If you wish to go further, you're gonna walk that heel closer to the seat and maybe over to the side. Bring the right arm in front of the leg, wrap it around the back, and the opposite arm comes around. So you can clasp the hands or the wrist, and you're gonna turn yourself over to the left side. So you see you have that nice little spinal twist, bringing the shoulders parallel with the long edge of the mat. Okay. In just a moment, we'll release. So go ahead, release the arms, bring them forward again. Now here you can keep a half seated forward fold or take a half lotus. So either bringing the foot to the inner thigh or into the crease of the hip. Take a moment, start to shift the weight forward, reach that right arm around, grab hold of the big toe. Left fingers reaching for the left big toe. You can start to fold over the leg. So whether you're in a bind or not, you're just in a half seated forward fold. Take another gentle breath here. Good. Gently releasing out. Option to keep the half lotus. Or you can gently release back into Janna Shishashana and find a t spinal twist to the right side. If you cap that half lotus, go ahead, grab hold of the big toe. Left arm pressing the right knee towards the earth, looking over that back shoulder. And return to the center. You can keep the leg as it is or release it. Bring the sole of the foot to touch the inside of the thigh. Use the back arm like a kickstand, lift the hips. So the left front foot is pressing into the earth, the hips lifting up high. You find that nice rainbow shape with the body. And gently lower yourself back down. We'll switch to the other side, extend the leg. You can shake them out. Good. Let's take a reverse plank here. So slide the hands back behind you. Draw the shoulders down the back. Feel free to lift the heart here and stay or press into the hands and feet, lift the hips up finding strength throughout the whole body. Gently lower yourself back to the ground, sit up nice and tall. Arms extend up, fold over the legs. Settle in for a breath. In just a moment, we'll lift ourselves back up. Release the arms. And we'll switch to the other side. Go ahead and bend that left knee. Place the foot on the floor. Interlace the fingers around the shin. Sit up nice and tall. Option to stay here. Lengthen through the spine. Or you can slide the heel closer to the seat. You're going to shimmy that left arm in front. So bring it in front of the shin. Sweep the arm towards the low back. Opposite arm reaches around, maybe you clasp the hands, the fingers, maybe you have a towel or something. And start to turn your body towards the right edge of the mat. So now your shoulders lining up with the long edge of the mat. Nice little twist here from the base of the spine. Good. When you're ready to release the pose, go ahead and release. Again, you could take that half lotus where the left leg comes across, resting the foot in the crease of the hip, or again, just bring the sole of the foot to touch the inner thigh. The left arm sweeps forward, and then you can wrap it around, grab that big toe if you wish, or just find a gentle spinal twist however you need. Turning our chest towards the left side of the mat. Take a look over that shoulder. Take another gentle breath. Return to the center. Again, you can keep the foot where it is or gently release it from the crease of the hip. Extend the left arm behind you like a kickstand. Press the hips forward and up, right toes reaching the earth. Lowering yourself back to the ground. Bring both legs together, extend them down the mat. Okay. Another gentle breath here. 
Inhale, lifting the arms up overhead. Exhale, deeper fold over the legs. Do whatever feels best here. Again, option to bend the knees, connecting the chest to the thighs. Feel the lengthening from the low back all the way up to the shoulders, but let them relax. Extend the arms forward, reach up, release the arms behind you. We're gonna come into a nice little shoulder stand, so extend the arms out in front and roll yourself back. I just turn around so you can see a little bit better. Bring your hands alongside the body. You have the option to take a sleeping tiger here or bring the legs together. Gently, when you're ready, extend the legs up towards the sky. Take a moment to set yourself up nice and steady. You can keep pressing into the arms. And when you're ready, you're gonna lift the hips up and back. Take a few moments here to readjust whatever you need if you feel off balance. Allow the hands to support the low back, toes reaching towards the sky, keeping all the weight on the backs of the arms, shoulders. In your nice tall shoulder stand, take another gentle breath here. Good. If you're in the sleeping tiger, stay. If you're in the shoulder stand, go ahead and extend that right leg straight back over the head. Half plow. Bring it back to the center and then we'll switch to the other side. Good. Back to the center. Now let's take it across the body. Readjust whatever you need. Right leg is going to come over towards the left shoulders. Maybe the toes touch the ground. If not, you can bend the knee, let it touch the forehead. Bring the legs back together. Switch to the other side. Beautiful. Back to the center. Now bending both knees. Find a nice little corkscrew twist here, bringing both knees towards the left shoulder. Back up to the shoulder stand. Now switch to the other side. Both knees together. Bend them, bring them to the right shoulder. Inhale, press back up to your shoulder stand. And find the full plow just for a breath or two. Legs extended behind you. Maybe you can tuck the toes, press the heels back, find length for the legs. Otherwise, bend the knees, rest them on the forehead. In just a moment, we're gonna come back to the shoulder stand if that feels okay. If you're a new sleeping tiger, stay. Lifting the feet towards the sky, using the hands for support. Go ahead and bend that right knee. Start to lower the right foot to touch the end of the mat. And then once it does, let the left leg come down as well. You're gonna reverse the hands. So now that the palms cradle the hips, keep pressing the hips towards the sky, keeping the feet hips width apart. If it feels okay, go ahead and walk those legs all the way down to the end of the mat. So you now have a full bridge. Hands are supporting the hips, hips lifting up high, legs extended. Now go ahead and walk the heels back, come into a regular bridge, lower the seat to the earth. Take a moment, press into the back of the head, lift the shoulders, readjust whatever you need, keep the feet on the floor. Let's take a nice reclined pigeon. Right ankle crosses over the left thigh. Use the right hand to press the thigh away from the body, so knee towards the front of the mat. When you're ready, you can gently release. Lifting the left foot off the floor, interlace the hands below the knee. Take a moment there. Start to gently pull that left thigh closer to the body. Breathe. If and when you're ready, you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders, bringing the forehead towards the knee. Deeper stretch, breathe into the hips. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Whenever you're ready, you can let that left foot lower down. Bring the hands alongside the body and press up into a single leg bridge. So keeping the cross of the ankle, just lifting the hips and gently release. We're gonna switch to the other side, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. Take a moment, press that left knee away from the body. Feel a nice stretch through the crease of the hip. You can gently release the press. We're gonna slide the hands under the right thigh, lifting the foot off the floor. Find that nice reclined figure four stretch, pulling the thigh closer to the body. Breathe. Again, the option, when you're ready, you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders, bringing the forehead towards the knee, rounding the spine just a little bit. See how that feels. Whenever you're ready to release, you can gently lower the head, the neck, the shoulders. Releasing the right foot to the floor, keep the figure four stretch, hands to frame the seat. As you inhale, press into the hands, press into the right foot, lifting the hips towards the sky, lift, 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 single leg bridge. And 
when you're ready, we'll gently release, lowering the seat towards the earth. Release the cross of the legs. Keep the bend in the left knee, foot on the floor, extend the right leg up towards the sky. Thread the hands behind the knee, maybe slide the hands up towards the ankle. If you have enough flexibility, the left leg extends down the mat. Just stay here with the legs split, breathing through the back of the leg, shoulders, head and neck relaxed. Then if you wish, you can bend the elbows and bring the forehead to touch the shin. Take another breath here. Gently release to the earth. Keep the right leg extended. You can take the peace sign fingers, grab hold of the big toe, maybe the ankle of the pant leg, and start to lower that right leg out to the side. You can use the left hand to hold the hip in place, the left hip, or you can keep it in the T shape. Another breath. In just a moment, we'll bring that leg back to the center. So whatever you need to do here, if you have to bend the knee, bend the knee. Otherwise, just guide it back to the center and we'll switch arms. Left hand reaches across, grabs the blade of the foot. We're gonna find a spinal twist here. Just lower the right leg over to the left side. Keep the T-shape with the arms. You can keep your gaze up or you can gently turn your gaze over the right hand. See how it feels today. One more breath. Returning the leg to the center, bend the knee, place the foot on the floor, then interlace the hands, grab hold of the shin, hug it into the chest, release any tension in the low back. We're gonna switch to the other side. Bend the right knee, place the foot on the floor, extend the left toes towards the sky. Hands come behind the thigh, maybe you can reach them up towards the ankle. If it feels okay, extend the right leg forward, splitting the legs in both directions. Again, option to reach to lift the head, neck, and shoulders, reaching the forehead towards the shin, soft bend the elbows. Whenever you're ready, you can gently release. Grab hold of the big toe with the left thumb and forefinger. Use the hand in a T shape or to support the hip and lower the leg over to the left. Take a moment, come back to the breath. In just a moment, we're gonna release the pose, and then we're gonna gently guide the left leg back to the center. Take your time. Right hand reaches up, grabs hold of the blade of the foot, maybe it's the ankle or the pant leg again, and bring it across the body for that nice spinal twist. If I were hovering above you, it'd look like a beautiful little peace sign, rather plus sign, plus sign, peace sign. We like them all. Good. Take another gentle breath here. And another breath, return to the center, bend the knee, lower the foot to the floor, and then hug the knee into the body. Good. Gently release. Extend the legs down the length of the mat. Open the arms wide, let the palms face up, rock the feet and the hips from side to side. Make a few adjustments so you can feel each point of contact where the body presses into the earth, settling in nice and heavy. Back of the head touches so the chin is parallel with the chest. Take a few resting breaths here. Feel the whole body sink heavy into the earth. Just let it go. Releasing all the tension from the day. We just had a nice quick practice. Take a few moments here. Relax, restore. Each exhale, the body settles in just a little bit more. Take another two breaths. Good, bring your awareness to the body. Begin to roll the wrist you can add some movement into the ankles, the toes, the feet, whatever feels good. And then gently sweep the arms up overhead. You can stay there or try to find a half moon shape, walking the arms over to the right corner of the mat and then the legs over. Back to the center. 
bringing the hands to prayer. You can cross them over to the left corner of the mat and then walk the feet to the left corner. Whatever feels good here. Whenever you're ready, you can gently return to the center, releasing the arms. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna make our way to a fetal position on either side, so take your time. Curl up into a little ball at your arm and head rest on the floor. Whenever you feel ready, you can gently press yourself up to sit. Find a nice comfortable seat, spine long and straight, hands resting on the knees or in the lap. Take a moment. Thank yourself for coming to practice today, taking this time for yourself. We'll end this practice in our hearts with one Om, three Shantis. Om, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day.